Today we're at Tornos here in Italy and we're looking at this super impressive machine, the Tornos Swiss Deco 36. I'm here with Michael, this is some machine Michael, can you tell our viewers all about it please? Yeah, this is a Swiss Deco 36, that means you are able to work with bar up to 36, but you have today a new option also, up to 42 mm with a collet adaptation for the main and the counter spindle. And you cut the first thing you notice is that huge gun drill. Um, how long is it to start with? Yeah, see, we are on the version with a turret on the B axis, and it allows us to have a 500 mm long deep drilling tool. And it's fair to say this isn't for a demo, this is a real life application. You are using that gun drill out in the field. Yeah, this is a real life application, it's a medical application. We work together very close with a manufacturer of this gun drill, Guring and we work together to find the right solution to make the drill of this special part directly on the machine. So if we concentrate on the turret initially, obviously you can see there it's got a B axis. Um, talk to us, is it 12 station, can I see there, is it 12 station turret? Yeah, well, 12 station turret with uh, 12,000 RPM per each. And how many tools can we have? Can we have multiple tools uh, per, 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 per station? Yeah, for sure, you can have an adaptation for up to two or three tools on the same station. Okay, tell us about the rest of the machine. How about the construction of the machine? Are we talking cast iron or fabrication? Yeah, uh, this that's your bottom, you know, the construction. This is a single part of cast iron, which is really heavy. The spindles are very powerful. The idea is this machine is to make complex parts and also tough material. So we are just in the right line. And uh, you have a modular platform, that means you have the G with two gang, with a Z2 axis on the real gang, and then you have the turret, and that one with the turret on the B axis, with a Z2, Z2 axis was impressive with 750 mm length. So when we're looking at running these machines, typically they run for a long period of time, day and night shift. How do we, stay, how do we keep size? How do we make sure it's thermally stable? So we have also a cooling circuit only for the spindle and also for the B axis module. And then we have all the management of chips with a chip conveyor with mandatory. Then we have a paper filtration, the high pressure pump, and all is in the space of the machine include. So you will avoid to have people who should come to take the chip, to remove the chip and so on. And then we have also the possibility to have the macro to manage the chip with the ACB. So we've touched on the turret. Maybe you can tell us about the rest of the machine. How many other tools on the various stations? So, for example, on the counter operation block, you have a four fixed tool to make the turning. Then you have four rotating tool and a up to eight fixed tool also to make some drilling or tapping, and up to four tool to cross live on the side. Mm -hmm. And if we now, if we look at the control, this is a new control to me, the new Tornos control. We're still talking fan at back end, but how about the rest of the control? Yeah, it's the base on the fanok, and you just put our Tornos system on it is work with a Windows standard one PC inside and our thesis for sure will help you to make the programmation on the right time and the right moment. So if you've got standard uh, FANUC programs will this accept them? I suppose you have to do a little little change but it's fairly fairly easy. Yeah it's very easy but you should adapt it to the kinematic of the machine for sure but it's a ISO standard code. And today we're talking about a stainless steel part this machine It'll do short chipping materials as, long as, as well as long chipping materials. How do we make sure we don't get birds nesting around the drill and yeah, just swarf problems? We have the ACB option. This is a macro developed by us to manage perfectly the chip. Otherwise, you have also the high pressure pump or will give you the right help at the right moment. And just the final one for me, just to conclude, um, some of these machines in here, you know, you've got to grow into, but there's an argument to suggest why wouldn't you buy this machine as your first machine or your first lathe? You know, to me, it's, it's good for small companies. Equally, it's good for big companies too. Yes, for sure, we cover the both. It's also a modular machine. They see we are a small job shop company. You don't know tomorrow which part you will receive for your customer. So you have the right one because with the turret on the B-axis, you have so many possibilities that you can imagine. So it's fair to say this is the B-axis. You know, it's top of the range probably. But just quickly, briefly, run us through the rest of the range. You don't have to have the turret, do you? Yes, we have that one with the double gang, like the Evo Deco style we have since years. Uh, but we add a Z2 axis for 250 mm on it, 
So you can make pinch turning, you will have more space also to work with the trade wiring tool, for example. And then you have the turret, fixed turret, but also with 750 millimeter Z2 axis on the back.